what's up guys guys keep the hearts going and keep sharing the feed everybody keep sharing the feed keep sharing the feed because this is the one lesson you guys have all been asking me to do now for a while everybody's been asking me to do this for a while um, I'm taking my time today to uh, put on a full lesson for you guys all right so I'm putting on a full lesson for you guys on how to trade the markets, what the markets are, what it is I do, and how it all works, all right? So let me set this down, all right? So let me introduce myself to you guys. My name is Reza, also known as Ocean Sky on social media. I'm going to hide the chat window, okay? Guys, please share the feed as much as possible. Please keep as many hearts coming as possible. I would really appreciate you guys giving me as many hearts and sharing the feed, just keep sharing the feed, all right? Um, so my name is Reza, also known as Ocean Sky on uh, social media. A lot of people know me because I started off by having really nice cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rolls Royce, you know, the whole nine yards. And everybody started asking me how I do it, what I did to earn it, what I do to make it, and uh, from there I developed a big following. Well, here's a story. I used to live in the back of my car 10 years ago, or five years ago, sorry, okay? Five years ago, I used to live in the back of a Honda Civic. I've made $20 million uh, from then till now, and a lot of people ask me how I do it, and although I do it through business, and I have a great sense of generating capital and, and creating a company from the ground up, the reality is I made it all the beginning with what's behind me right there. That right there is what made it for me. And I started with $10,000, that's all I had to my name. That, what you see there, made me a multi-millionaire. Now, I wanna show something never before seen. Let me show you guys something. This is my notebook. I pulled it out today. This was my notebook that I studied with. This was my book. I bought it for $1 when I was poor. I had no money, okay? I bought this book, um, I took it to class, this, this was my study book. This is it. Like, this was my Bible. This is where I learned every single thing. So, I mean, you can see, this is where I learned how to trade. These were my first words, pip, you know, on trading the markets. And it was such an amazing feeling. Like, like honestly, you guys, you know, this is something that relates to all of you guys. Because how many of you guys have just stumbled upon something that you realize is going to change your life? You know, this changed my life. I was a pizza driver. I was a mail courier. I had nothing going for me in life, guys. I shit you not. You know what I mean? Uh, like nothing going for me. And due to a Craigslist ad, I found a Craigslist ad. I went. I met with the guy. I fell in love with Forex. And next day, I was there with my book and doing what you guys are doing today. Exactly what you guys are doing. Taking a book and writing down from your teacher, just like I had a teacher. And today, look at my life. I'm not bragging, man, but I've got the Lamborghinis, the Ferraris, the Bentleys, the Rolls Royces, the BMWs. I got a, almost a house that's 10,000 square foot. I've got everything. And it's thanks to what you see up there. So why don't you let me teach you? Because every single Monday to Friday, I come on Periscope with everyone else here and I don't charge nothing. I trade with them for free and I give them amazing trades. I give all of you guys phenomenal trades every single day and a lot of people are missing out because they don't even know the basics. They don't know what we're doing. So please join me in the next half an hour and please allow me to have the pleasure of teaching you guys what brought me to where I am today. Okay, if you got somewhere to go, watch the recording afterwards. If I'm on here late, I'm terribly sorry. But please, this is an investment in yourself. This has nothing to do with me. This is not being charged to you. This is free knowledge. Take it, absorb it, and run with it. All right? So let me just adjust this to the best way possible so I can um, get the screen. Hold on a second, guys. Guys, please... Share the feed as much as you can, please. All right? Share the feed as much as you can. I would really appreciate it. Let's see if we can get over a thousand people in here. All right? Let's see if we can get a thousand people in here. All right. So let's start off very simple, okay? So Forex 101, 
how to beat the markets. Team Ocean Sky, my Instagram is Ocean Sky um, with two N's, O C E A N N S K Y. So, guys, let's first discuss what is Forex, okay? So, everybody refers to the markets when they refer to trading. When people, when people refer to conventional trading, they're referring to the stock market, all right? So when someone says, I'm a trader or I have traded, you know, they're thinking about the stock markets, you know, Wolf of Wall Street, stock markets, um, everyone else, stock markets, right? But there are other markets within the world that generate you a lot more money than the stock markets do and are much, much more fun to delve into, all right? Now, Forex is one of them. Forex stands for foreign exchange, all right? So Forex, F-O-R-E-X, is simply foreign exchange, okay? Now, foreign exchange, which is spelled completely wrong, but that's okay because we don't care about that, all right? Foreign exchange, it's the exchange of one country's currency for another, all right? Now, I, I haven't ever done it on a whiteboard before, so I'm trying my best to uh, make this as good as possible for you guys, all right? So it's the exchange of one currency to another. For example, if I write euro forward slash USD, okay, we are trading the euro versus the United States dollar. Okay, so this would be considered one instrument in Forex, whereas opposed to in the stock market, all right, you'd be trading Apple or Cisco or um, Nvidia, all right? So instead of trading a stock, you're trading a pair, okay? And every pair is defined as one pair versus another. So if we were to buy the Euro USD, we would be betting that the Euro is going to appreciate against the US dollar, all right? So those are just a little basics of it, all right? We trade currency pairs, we trade the British pound versus the US dollar, Euro versus the US dollar, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, and so forth. Foreign exchange has been around, um, well, Online trading has only been around for about seven, eight years, eight, nine years, actually, okay? The conventional way of trading in the past was to call in your banker on the trading floor. You had to have $100,000, $200,000 of real money and be there kicking your ass because you know what? It was hard. It was not easy because you had to have a lot of liquid capital to trade with. Today, because of technology and online platforms and online brokers, we have the liberty of trading online. Let me just plug this phone in. We have the liberty, okay, of, hold on a second. We have the liberty of trading online, all right? Now, what do online brokerages bring? A lot of you guys notice, see those charts? Those are online brokers. What do they give us the ability to do? They give us the ability to have leverage now. Leverage means we can take $500 and leverage it out to trade because back in the day, you needed to have $100,000, $200,000 minimum to trade. So a lot of guys today ask me, can I start with 500 bucks? You sure can. You want to know why? Because online Forex brokers, all right, give you up to 1,000 to 1 leverage. That means for every $1 you put in, they're going to give you $1 thousand dollars of tradable money so now you no longer need a hundred thousand dollars because five hundred dollars on 200 to one leverage is ten thousand dollars when you open up one lot right so you no longer need a massive 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 bank account to trade you can do that with a small amount of money and still make a lot of money the other benefit with online trading platforms is you make instant deposits, instant withdrawals. You know, you control the platform, you control your fate. It's a solid setup, all right? So when the online trading industry came about, retail trading started to boom, all right? Retail trading started to boom, and all of a sudden, you had all these individuals running around saying, hey, hello, I'm a Forex trader. The guys that were stock traders, they used to frown upon us because they'd say, we're sitting in our office, busting our ass for the last 10 years, and we're making 12% a year. This Joe Blow just showed up, and he's making 8% a month. 
So they would hate us. Now, how do we make 8% a month? Because we have so much volatility. The markets for the Forex markets stay open 24 hours a day, five days a week. So 24 hours a day, five days a week, Monday to Friday, you have, an, uh, you have the ability to jump in the market, make a trade, get in, get out anytime you want. It could be 3 a.m., it could be 8 a.m., it could be 11 p.m., whereas opposed to the stock markets from 9 to 4, Eastern Standard Time is the only ability you have to trade. You can't trade past that. Guys, continuously share the feed, please. Keep the feed going. Keep the feed being shared okay so the forex market the main difference between a forex and a stock market is the forex market is 24 hours a day five days a week the stock market is five days a week nine to four and that's it okay depending on your time zone nine to five nine thirty to five all right but nine to four okay traditionally now the other benefits is there's so much volatility in the currency markets. The currency markets, the forex markets, also shape the way the stock markets move. Believe it or not, okay, what the euro and the USD do will depict what Dow Jones does, what the S&P 500 does, what TSX or the FTSE does, all right? So stocks are actually relying on currencies. Currencies are relying on global fundamentals plus technical so you learn currencies and what do you learn stocks precious metals commodities everything you're a machine and that's how i became a millionaire that's how i became a multi-millionaire because i mastered this and guys this is so simple to learn every single one of you it's a shame 30, 40 people have dropped off already. You know what? They're not interested in their future. It's a shame if you don't learn this. This is a lesson that you can take with you anywhere you go because all you need, all you need is a laptop. Just a laptop. A $500 laptop can make you a multi-millionaire. Just listen and watch what I'm going to teach you. All right, so, so far, we know the Forex markets are the foreign exchange currency markets. They're open 24 hours a day, five days a week. They are extremely volatile compared to the stock markets, okay? And there's, it's only eight to nine years old on online broker platforms. It's a very new niche, very new industry, okay? So it's easy to exploit, get in, bam, make your money, get out, all right? Now, when we trade, I'm gonna teach you guys some of the basics tonight, and then I'm gonna put on another course tomorrow, which is gonna be all the computer stuff on the computer, all right? When we trade, we refer to movements within the market. So if you see a lot of us come on here and say, we made 30 pips today, we made 40 pips today. Well, a pip is just like saying in the stock market, we made 40 cents, we made 30 cents, we made 60 cents, okay? So a pip, which is P I P simply stands for percentage in point. Okay. Percentage in point. Now, when we trade and we open up trades on them in the, in the markets, we trade with lot sizes. Again, in the stock market, you buy X amount of shares. So if we wanted to buy Apple, we buy a hundred thousand shares. Now, if we wanted to buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of euro usd we would say we're going to open one lot now let me teach you guys these are the trading value sizes these are the generic global value sizes you have one micro lot okay one mini lot one standard lot okay one standard lot can also just be called one lot that's what we call it one lot now one micro lot equals one thousand dollars of real money all right one mini lot equals ten thousand dollars of real money one standard lot equals $100,000. Now, I trade 
10 standard lots every single time I open a trade. So how much am I buying every time? A million dollars. Now you're gonna ask me, Reza, I don't have a million dollars every single time I open a trade. I'm gonna tell you, you don't need it because you've got what? Leverage. Remember how I taught you guys that you get leverage? So let me tell you how this works. If you go and open up a, a trading platform, you're gonna have the ability to open up an account with one to 50 or up to one to 1,000 leverage. I suggest you open one to 200. That means for every $1, they're gonna give you 200. So if you want to open up a trade that is one mini, one mini lot, okay, and basically buy $10,000 worth of the euro, so you're gonna buy 10 grand worth of the euro, you know how much it's gonna cost you? On, um, on a 200 to one platform, it would cost you around, I would say $50, okay? Around 50 to $75, all right? I'm even maybe wrong because I don't trade that small. I don't trade that small, so my numbers are off. But one standard lot, $100,000, would cost you $500. So all you gotta do is put 500 bucks out and now you have $100,000 of buying power. $100,000 of buying power you have with only 500 measly dollars. That's why Forex is so fucking amazing. Isn't that fucking amazing? That's why it's so brilliant. So check it out. You put a thousand bucks in your account, you've got two uh, $200,000 in buying power. It's equivalent to 10 years ago putting 200 k in an account. Do you see why online Forex trading is so fucking amazing? Now check it out, okay? One micro lot equals $1,000. One mini lot equals $10,000 being traded. And one standard lot equals $100,000. Now, when you are looking at them on your MetaTrader 4 platform, which is our platform of choice, one micro lot, if you were to buy, if you wanted to purchase one micro lot, you would purchase 0 0.01. If you wanted to purchase one mini lot, you would purchase 0 0.1. If you wanted to purchase one standard lot, you would just purchase one. So when I open up a trade at 10 standard lots, okay, I putting in the number 10 in my system and clicking buy. And now I have bought 10 standard lots. I have bought $1 million worth of the euro. Now, let me tell you the fun stuff now. Do you wanna know how much money you make per tick? Now, in the stock market, it's called per cent. Every cent that the stock goes up or down, you make or lose X amount of dollars. Now, here is what I, love about the Forex markets. Everything is in pips, percentage of a point. Now a pip is one thousandth of a penny, okay? So let me get my book out, all right? Let's go back to the Bible, Ocean's Bible. I'm gonna autograph this and give this away one day to somebody. My original Bible, okay? Now, let's assume we're looking at one point zero five five four let's say that is the price of the pound usd right now okay the a pip is one thousandth of the penny so this is one thousandth of a penny the five is one hundredth of a penny so every single time this four goes up by one, that is one pip. So imagine how little this has to move. Imagine how small, let me move this over a bit. Man, I'm getting all hot here. Imagine how small, how little this has to move for you to make just one pip. That's how some of us are making two, 3,000 bucks in five minutes. And you guys are saying, how are you making two, three thousand bucks? I'm gonna teach you right now how to make three thousand dollars in five minutes. Cheers.
All right, I'm gonna show you how to make $3,000 in five minutes, five minutes. Watch this. This is a dollar and five cents. The rest of this, we can't even calculate because they don't even exist. But in the Forex world, it's so volatile and it moves so well that this fraction of a move will make you money. Now, if you had bought, if you had bought one micro or one mini or one standard lot, I'm gonna teach you how much money you would make each pip. Now keep in mind, sometimes the markets move 100 pips in about one minute. They move, the Forex markets can move 100 pips in one minute. So let me tell you how much each pip is worth to you. Do the math on how rich you can get. If you buy one micro lot, which means you're buying $1,000 of the Euro USD. So you go on your platform and you put in 0 0.01 on the Euro USD and you click buy. You just bought one micro lot of the Euro USD. You just bought $1,000 worth of Euro and you're get banking that it's gonna go up against the US dollar. Every single pip, every single pip that this goes up, okay, you make a penny. Doesn't sound like a lot, right? Well, it doesn't. Micro lots are for people that open up, bank, open up trading accounts at five bucks. I'm just showing you the example. So a micro lot, every pip that goes up is one penny. You make one penny. In Mexico, that's a beer. Now, one mini lot, which is what some pe most people do, most people do it, they do it. Not everybody got a lot of money. Means you make one dollar every single time it goes up. So hey, I come out and I tell you guys to make 100 I make I normally make with you guys 50 pips a day. 50 pips a day we're making. Every Monday to Friday we make about 50 pips a day minimum, right? Minimum. Now, a mini lot is people that have $100 accounts up to $500 accounts. $1000 accounts. Every pip that goes up, you make a dollar. You make a dollar. So, 50 pips a day you're making 50 bucks a day clean. No problem, right? Now, what 99% of us trade is a standard lot. We're all trading standard lots. All of us are. We're making $10 per pip. Okay? So we're making $10 per pip. All right? That's not bad now. Now, 10, min 10 little pips goes up, I just made 100 bucks. 20 pips goes up, I made 200 bucks. Now, if this goes from $1.5 to $1.6, and it goes up 100 pips, right? 100 pips at $10 a pip, how much is that? I just made 1,000 bucks. Wow. Now do you see how it gets better? So a micro lot, every pip you make on a micro lot, when you open a micro lot, okay? is one penny you make per pip. On a mini, every single pip that goes up, you make one dollar. On a standard lot, every pip that goes up, you make ten dollars, okay? So I trade 10 standard lot minimum. So I make a hundred bucks a pip. Hundred bucks a pip I make, okay? So just 50 pips, which is what I get, make you guys every single day. How much money do I make a day? five thousand dollars and that's just on 50 pips there's been days we've made 400 pips in a day we just made 150 or 250 pips the other day okay so what we have micro lots mini lots and standard lots once again to to reiterate a micro lot is the equivalent of one thousand dollars of real money a mini lot is the equivalent of $10,000 of real money. A standard lot is the equivalent of $100,000 of real money. With that being said, to buy an open A micro lot, it would cost you around $5 of real money, $4 of real money.
Okay, so five bucks of real money will open one micro lot, which will make you a, uh, sorry, micro lot makes you 10 cents a pip, not one cent. I'm sorry, 10 cents a pip, okay? Mini lot costs you about $50 each mini lot you open up, $45 to open up a mini lot. A standard lot costs you uh, $500. So $500 of your money will buy you $100,000 of a currency. Guys, do me a favor, everyone right now, share the feed. Everyone, on the count of three, swipe to the right, please share the feed. Let's keep the fire going, guys. Come on, let's share the feed. You wanna be in this, guys, come on, all right? And again, what's a PIP? A PIP stands for percentage in point. So a percentage in point. So when we talk Forex, we say, how much did you, how much money did you make today? I made 20 pips. Or when I come online and I say, hey guys, let's make 50 pips today. Now you're gonna know how much money you're gonna make because if you're trading standard lots, right? If you're trading one standard lot every time, 50 pips means you're gonna make 500 bucks today. That's the equivalent of Reza saying to you, hey, let's make 500 bucks today. If you're trading many lots, it means you're gonna make 50 bucks today. If you're trading 10 lots at a time, it means you're gonna make $5,000 today. There's been times that I was trading 100 lots at a time. I bought my first Lamborghini Murcielago cash. God in the sky, my witness. I bought my first Lamborghini Murcielago all cash off of three weeks of trading. I was trading 1, 000, uh, 1, 100 standard lots at a time. I was making $1,000 per pip, and I was being a greasy scalper. I kept going in the market, making five pips, closing it. Once a day, I would find the perfect opportunity, I'd get in the market, I'd make five, six pips, and I'd close the trade, I'd make five, six thousand dollars in two minutes, and I'd fucking run around, I'd, mom, 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 look what I did, all excited. I bought my first Lamborghini Murcielago white, Lamborghini Murcielago um, Roadster. Cash, cash, off of this. And I started so small. Th this is it, man. It's either Wall Street, real estate, or no streets at all, all right? When you learn this, you're gonna make so much fucking money, you're gonna get into real estate too and start developing high rises. You're gonna become like me. You're gonna become a fucking machine. Fucking machine, I'm a fucking machine. I'm a fucking machine today. Because of this, let me teach you. Share the feed, continue to share the feed, okay? So everybody on point with this? Now, I wanna give you guys some cardinal rules of trading, cardinal rules. Now, this, this goes right down to Stocks, precious metals, Forex, this stuff you should honestly write down, okay? Rule number one, okay? Rule number one, never be number two. I'm kidding, but it sounded cool, okay? Rule number one, okay? Never predict the markets, okay? Never, ever, 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 ever predict the markets. You cannot predict the markets. You're not Ocean Sky. When you become Ocean Sky, maybe you could do it. You can't do it, don't predict the markets. Don't say, oh, I know it's gonna go up there. It's not gonna go up there. The markets are very volatile. One minute, it could be moving 50 pips up. You go to the washroom, you come back down, you're up 5,000 bucks. You go to the washroom, you come back, your money's all gone. The markets are very unpredictable. I'll tell you a story. When I was first starting my first two weeks, I had taken a trade on the US CAD, one standard lot. Remember, I had a small amount of money, 10,000 bucks. Actually, after I paid my condo and everything, 7,000 bucks. And I took a one lot trade. 8.30 in the morning, news came out. Shot up USD CAD I bought. I was up $1,100. I, I, I will never forget it. <sighs> to this day, it gives me goosebumps. 
I was up eleven hundred dollars. I called my uh, I called my coach. Brent, 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 Brent. I'm killing it today, bro. I'm killing it. I went to the washroom to pee, and I left my trade unattended. I came back down. I had lost three thousand dollars. My eleven hundred dollar profit was gone, and I had lost three thousand dollars because news had come out and the market had whipsawed. Hawkish news, dovish tone, and the market whipsawed. Man, oh man, that day I went numb. I closed the computer. I dropped on the couch. I wouldn't answer the phone call on anybody. My friends thought I'd killed myself. I, mean, I shit you not, this is not a lie. Never predict the markets. Go with the trend. We have a saying in the Forex industry. This is what makes us also better than the stock traders because they try to predict the markets. The trend is your friend. The trend is your friend. Never try to predict the markets, okay? If you try to predict the markets, they're gonna turn around and they're gonna hurt you. You're gonna get demotivated in your initial, in, you know, in your initial start and your be the beginning of your trading career. And demotivation is gonna cause you to what? Give up, right? Rule number two, cut losses after 10% never marry your trade. This is something that to this day I even fuck up with. The biggest as the biggest reason individuals lose Okay, let me take my jacket off. The biggest reason individuals lose is psychology. What made me really successful? I started to learn to psychologically control myself. All right? You got to stop emotions. When you invest into the Forex market, you got to consider your money gone from the day you invest. Okay? Now, you're going to ask me, why start off with a negative tone? I'll tell you why. It's not a negative tone. You're starting off with zero stress on yourself. Always invest money you can afford to lose and laugh at. Okay? When you make your initial investment into the Forex market, you got to assume and consider that money already gone. So, your emotional attachment now to that money is nil. You don't, you don't, you won't fear trading that money because fear will create a scenario for you to marry trades and never let them go until they blow your account out. For example, you can take a trade that we've done it, man. We've done it, right? We take a couple of trades. We've taken maybe out of a hundred trades that have won, we've had three or four lose. You know, we take a trade, it looks perfect, it all of a sudden goes one pip against us, two pips against us, three pips against us, four pips against us, five pips. Remember what a pip is, right? A percentage in point. So if we were trading one lot, it's 10 bucks against us, one pip. Two pips, 20 pips against, pips against uh, 20 dollars against us, three pips, 30 bucks against us, 40 bucks against us, 50, 60, ugh, 100 bucks against us, we're 10 pips down. Now, if I only put in 500 bucks and I'm terrified of losing this money, what am I going to do when I'm down a hundred bucks? I'm going to go like this, bite my nails, and I'm going to pray the trade comes back up so I can close it at break even. I've married my trade because I'm psychologically attached to that money. But by breaking that psychological, emotional connection to your money and to the world of trading and trading based on what you know, your knowledge, you're not going to fear if you made a bad trade. If you made a bad trade, at 10%, you cut the loss right away. Cut the loss, turn the computer off, go relax. Come back to fight another day. So if you're trading 500 bucks and your one trade is down 50 bucks, just close it off. Close it off. Don't wait for it to come back. No need for you to wait for that trade to come back. That's poor risk management. Okay, that's going to create a situation where you marry your trades, you won't let go of the losers, you'll hold on to the losers, and you will overlook the winners. What you want to do is quickly get rid of the losers, jump into another profitable trade, make up that loss, and even make more money. That is the proper way of trading. So, 
Cut your losses after 10%. Never marry your trade. Okay? If you take a trade on $1,000, you're down 100 bucks. Close the trade off right away. Don't worry about it. Close the trade off right away. Come back, make $150. Because in trading, okay, let's say this is your bank account and it starts at zero and this is a um, million dollars, okay? And there's a million dollars up there. You are never ever going to do this, man. In life, in business, whether you own a, a cell phone business, stock market, you're in the stock market, Forex market, you own Andy's supplement line, you own Cody's real estate business, none of them can fucking do this. Anyone that says they can go whoop up is a liar. I can't do it. So consider this your trading account as well. And this is your equity curve, okay? This is your equity curve. This is your net worth on that account. You're never gonna go from zero zoop to a million dollars because that means you gotta make every trade perfect and you're never gonna be able to do that. It's impossible because if you get that into your mind, you're going to make 10 perfect trades. The 11th perfect trade is gonna go against you. You're gonna hold it so long, it's gonna wipe out all the profit from the last 10 trades you made and wipe your whole fucking account out. Don't get it into your head that you gotta make every trade perfect and you gotta go right up. No, instead, I want every single one of you, whether it's in Forex, stock market, any business you're ever going to do, you can ask anyone, you can ask Grant Cardone, he discusses this stuff a lot, all right? If this is your, if this is your starting point and $1 million is your goal, hey buddy, one day up, a little bit down one and then the next day up a little bit down up a little bit down a little bit more up a little bit more down even up up down up boom did I still get to my million dollar goal yeah did I still make a million dollars yeah how did I get there I took my losses I got back in I took my losses, I got back in. I took my losses, I cut my losses, I got back in. I'm disciplined. My equity curve is still up. I still went from zero to a million dollars. But in the middle, I had some losing days. I came back the next day. As long as my equity curve is going higher and higher and higher, if you go to a hedge fund and you try to get a job at Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley, and they see your track record and it is one straight arrow up, you're not getting a fucking job. I won't hire you because it tells me that you don't have any emotional connections. You have emotional connections, sorry. And it tells me that you have no risk management, nor do you have discipline. You just hold on to all your losers till they become winners. <laughs> that's shit. When I see someone that's gone from zero to a million, but has had numerous losses in the middle, I'm like, aha, this guy has lost, come back and won, made up the loss and won again, made up next day's loss and won again. This tells me, this guy, he's got discipline. So I want you guys to never hold on to your losers. Remember, this is in life as well. If you open up a business, my family, my brothers and sisters, if you open up a business, it's not doing too well. Don't bleed money into it, man. Don't bleed money into it. Shut it down. No shame in shutting it down. I've admitted it to you guys. My Forex brokerage went bunk. It went bunk. My computer business went bunk. I admit it. I shut it down. I wasn't gonna bleed more money. I shut it down, came back, opened the business 10 times bigger. So. In the trading industry, when you open up a trade, if it loses after 10%, close it, go. <sighs> All right, it happens. Grab a beer, grab the wifey, grab your husband, grab somebody you love, sit down, put on Netflix. I'm gonna be back tomorrow to get it. Bam! Come back the next day, get it even harder. All right, and the next day you were here, you took a trade, boom, now you're up here. Now you're even higher than you were two days ago, bam. 
money being made. Equity curve is going up. But you're learning to accept your losers, so you're not going to hang on to your losers, and they're never going to wipe your account out. You're learning the discipline, and you're detaching yourself emotionally from the market. So, rule number two is never, ever hold on to your losers. Always trade the winners, all right? Now, rule number four, okay? I'm not going to write this one down because it's long. Be consistent. Analyze the markets on a fundamental and technical basis, all right? Now, I teach technical analysis, so a lot of you guys are going directly off the charts, but sometimes I come on, I see a big spike in the news, and I say, hey, boys and girls, trade is coming back. I combine fundamentals and technicals. Now, let me explain the difference between fundamental trading and technical trading. Technical trading uses a series of technical indicators, okay, such as moving averages, RSI, which stands for Relative Strength Index, Stochastics, just a bunch of technical indicators like Fibonacci levels that I'm going to teach you guys later on, okay? Fundamental indicators are stuff like the gross domestic product, you know, GDP of uh, United States, the consumer confidence, um, interest rate statements, so anything the bank recess, so if Obama comes out, all of a sudden starts giving a speech, that's fundamental news. That's going to change, the, you know, so Obama comes out all of a sudden and says, you know, or, or, you know, Ben Bernanke was known as Helicopter Ben because when he was chairman of the FOMC, Federal Open Marketing Committee, he was known to cause turmoil in the markets every time he spoke. You know, we used to call him Helicopter Ben. When Ben Bernanke came on, the U.S. dollar went 10 cents up and down all over the place. You couldn't trade the fucking thing. All right. So all of a sudden, one of these guys comes online and says, you know what? We feel that the second quarter, United States has, you know, done really bad in their GDP. And uh, we feel like interest rates are going to go this way or that way. All of a sudden, the markets are going to go woo, crazy. U.S. dollar is going to go through the roof or it's going to crash. That's a fundamental indicator. So you need to know fundamentals plus technicals. This way, you can trade when the market is quiet based on technical analysis, which is what we do. But if all of a sudden, two hours later, a big news event is coming out, you got to prepare yourself. So it's almost like being a soldier at war, right? Knowing how to use your guns, your knife, your nine millimeter, your, you know, your C7 or your M16, which is your, your military weapons. But at the same time, you need to know how to jump in that helicopter or that boat and get in there. Boom, 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 boom. So you need to know every aspect of it. You need to be well-rounded. All right. So we have technicals. I want you guys to write this down. Technicals, Okay, and fundamentals. Technicals and fundamentals. In short form, like jargon or slang, we say, we just say technicals and um, we call fundamentals fundies, F-U-N-D-Y-S. So if someone says, hey man, you trade based on fundies, that means they're talking about fundamental indicators, right? Now, let me list some technical indicators. I'm going to list some technical indicators first, okay? Just list some random ones. One is called, for example, stochastics. Stochastics. S-T-O-C-H-A-S-T-I-C-S. Another one, for example, is called moving averages or moving average. Okay, we have something called an RSI. We have something called a CCI. Okay, RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. We have stuff like the MACD. Okay, so these would be considered technical indicators. When you drag them onto your chart, you actually see lines and little indications on the chart that tell you buy or sell. So you will physically, if you're using stochastics, there will be a physical outline. So let me show you guys an example of a moving average, okay? All right. So these are the charts. This is charts. This is candlesticks, okay? You see this red line going through here? 
That's a moving average. That's one moving average. So for example, if price goes above it, you can buy. If price goes below it, you can sell. So a technical indicator is something you can physically see with your eyes. Okay? You can physically see it with... All right? So technical indicators are what we oftentimes use for technical analysis. Not oftentimes, it's what we only use for technical analysis. All right? So you can actually see them fully on the chart. All right? Fundamental indicators. Let me share with you some fundamental indicators. Okay? All right? We have GDP. Um, cons you know, interest, interest rate. Consumer confidence. Okay? These are percentages and numbers released by the government or the Federal Open Market uh, Federal Marketing Committee. Okay, FOMC. All right? Or the European Central Bank or Australian Bank, all right? These are specific figures that gauge okay? That gauge the the health of an economy. So for example, if GDP is up in the United States, the United States is healthy. People are thriving. If GDP is low, we can say, hey, you know, there's an issue in the state. So these percentage, you know, the interest rate statement, consumer confidence. So if you have a high consumer confidence, that means everyone is confident that the market is going to prevail and everyone's out there, markets are going to go up, etc., etc. Okay? So fundamental indicators are gauges of the health of the environment. So imagine you're driving your car, your oil gauge, your heat gauge, your water gauge, that's your fundamentals. That's basically telling you the health of the economy. All right? So technical indicators are what you see physically on the chart. We follow them. We use them every single day to depict where prices are going. Fundamental indicators are news that come out on a daily basis that forecast the health of the environment of the markets or of that specific region that the news is coming from. So if consumer confidence is coming out of China, it's gauging the health of China's in China's confidence within the markets in the global uh, global environment. All right. So then you can see if prices are going to go up or down. Guys, share the feed. Everyone swipe to the right, please, and share the feed, guys. Come on, let's share the feed again. All right. Now. I want to show you guys, let me go back to this list again. We have, we're getting into the good stuff, guys. Share the feed. We're about to get into some good stuff. We have three types of traders. This is important, okay? We have scalpers or day traders, which is what I am. We have swing traders which generally swing traders open a trade on Monday, they swing it, so just use this, picture this, you take a rope and you swing on it four days later, right? How, how far is that rope gonna generally swing? Not too far, right? So swing traders are traders that open a trade and hold it for one to five days, okay? So one to five days. Then you have position traders. All right. Position traders are individuals that will buy the U.S. CAD or gold at one thousand dollars and hold it for two years. They're not going to cash it out even if they're up a million bucks. They're just going to hold that position for two years. OK, it is. I hate it because it's boring. OK, now scalpers are guys that are trading every, you know, open a trade, close it in 15 minutes, or open a trade, close it by nighttime. Swing traders are guys that hold trade for one to five days. Position traders are guys that hold trade from one month to one year to two years, okay? Now, as you know, every single one of these, not as you know, as you could assume, every single one of these types of traders implores a different strategy because different things matter to them. Right. For example, for a scalper, he's going to be trading on a 15 minute chart with different technical indicators and he's not too concerned about fundamental news. 
a swing trader is going to be very concerned about fundamental news because he's holding it for one to five days. The market at any moment can go whoop, 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 whoop because of news. A position trader just holds the trade and doesn't care. Okay? We even have a saying, buy in May and go away. These guys buy in May, they go on vacation, they come back in the fall. It's the saying in the markets, buy in May and go away. All right. Now, these guys, position traders, use technical analysis only. They trade on a weekly chart, daily chart. They look for long movements like 2,000, 3,000 pips. And yeah, some of them make like fucking 5 million bucks in, in that one trade. But they're holding that trade for a long time, one to two years. Now, the one important thing is you cannot be a scalper and a position trader at the same time. You cannot be a swing trader and a scalper at the same time. And the reason being is because each one implores a different strategy. When you start mixing the type of trader you are, you start making mistakes and having inefficiencies. So pick one type of trader that you are. A lot of you might be listening to me and saying, poof, Reza, I'm a position trader all day, buddy. I don't really carry trade every single day. Some of you might be looking at me saying, I want to trade 10 times a day. So you're a scalper. Some of you are going to be swing traders. You say, you know what? I'm going to open up two, three trades. I want to monitor them and I want to watch how they, how they do in the next two to three days. So everyone's cup of tea is different. All right, guys, do me a favor. Everyone again, share the feed. Everyone right now. Every single person, share the feed. Swipe to the right, share the feed, please. Every single one right now, okay? So you cannot be a scalper and a swing trader at the same time. You cannot be a position trader and a swing trader at the same time. Pick one type of trader that you are and stick to it. When you've been trading for two to five years, like me, and you are extremely good at what you do, at that point, you can start experimenting. You know, you hold gold for a year while you're scalping the euro. I, I can do it, but I my eyes are everywhere. You see how many charts I have open? My eyes are everywhere. I'm like CNN, I'm everywhere. You know what I mean? I'm listening to the news, technical indicators. I'm looking at, I'm gauging the environment, and I have a time machine, you don't. So scalpers, swing traders, and position traders do not ever mix, okay? Pick one and stick to it, all right? Now, another major difference between Forex and stock markets, and this is why I love Forex. Pay attention to what I'm saying right here, okay? In Forex, there's no volume. Now by volume, I mean there is no set amount of shares. In stocks, there is a set amount of shares. There's volume indicators. In Forex, there isn't. There's no set amount of US dollars. You can't run out of US dollars. You can't run out of gold. You can't run out of British pounds. You can run out of Apple stocks, okay? now. Why is that unsafe? Why do I not like anything, any instrument that is volume driven? If you come and ask me, do you trade stocks? I'll say no. And I'll say, because I hate volume driven instruments. Why? Because if something possesses volume and there's a set number to it, it can now be manipulated by the big boys. So if you got 10 eggs and Loblaws or Shoppers Drug Mart or Metro or what is it stores, whatever stores you have in your area, shop grocery store, comes and buys nine eggs. What did they do? They left one egg behind. What does that create? Demand. What happens to the price of eggs? Up, 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 up. Loblaws can come and buy all of their own eggs back for a low price, create major demand, have you guys start going out there and paying double the price for eggs and all of a sudden they put all the eggs back in the market and the price drops. They just took all of your fucking money. It's called a pump and dump. Exactly what Jordan Bell, similar to what Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street was doing. All right. So volume driven assets can be manipulated.
if there's 100,000 shares of a specific instrument and, and, and one of the CEOs comes and buys 500,000 of them bullshit-wise or tells all of his buddies to start buying them, he can now manipulate the price of that specific instrument and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just a sitting duck, okay? In Forex, there's no volume. Nobody can manipulate it. You can never be manipulated or, or cheated out of your funds, okay? The market does what the market does. You know, if someone comes and buys $20 billion of euro, whoop de doo nothing changes. They can't manipulate it. So the Forex market is not volume driven. The stock market is volume driven. All right. Note that down. Okay. Now let's discuss these squiggly little things on the wall that we're looking at. The first thing we start off when we come into the world of trading is guys, share the feed. Come on, we lost another 100 people. Share the feed. We start up with trading charts. Now, with charts, there's three types of charts. The first chart is called a line chart. Okay? Back in the day, believe it or not, people used to trade on line charts. Do you want to see what it looks like? So if this is your chart, say this is your chart, this is your price. Okay, this is all the price on the side, and this is the date. So each one of these lines represents one day. Each one of these lines represents one dollar, for example. This is what a line chart looks like. It's just lines, okay? It's very hard to do indicators, draw indicators. like. When you see a big line from here to here, what the hell happened all in between? It's very hard to evaluate this chart. It looks cool. It, it, the good thing about line charts is right off the bat, you can see what the hell they're doing. Here, boom, it's going up. It's a bullish chart. Okay? But the problem with line charts is you don't have any guts in the middle. You don't know what happened all in the middle. Okay? So nobody uses them. The only time you're going to see line charts is when websites are giving you a broad, broad look at a specific instrument. Okay. Now, the other very popular chart is OHLC. Okay. OHLC stands for open, high, low, Close. So this is what an OHLC chart would look like. They kind of look like stick man. All right. And if you glue them together, you'll see that they gauge that way. They still follow a pattern. Now, let me show you the components of an open high low close chart it is each open each tick looks like this something like this this and this this long piece in the middle is called the body that is the body of the candle okay so this piece on the right is the high this piece on the left sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry excuse me this piece on the right is the close this piece on the left is the open this at the top of the body is the high at the bottom of the body is the low Okay, now how do these charts work? The body represents where prices went within that interval. So if we're trading on a 15 minute chart, each one of these little guys represents 15 minutes of price action. If we're trading on a four hour chart, each one of these guys represents a four hour time frame. So this body represents, for example, if this is a one hour chart, this body represents one hour of movement within the charts. This tick here, this left leg 
is where that candle actually opened. So when this new one hour candle opened, it opened right here on this line. During that time, the lowest it ever came to was here. The highest it ever went to was here. And it ended up closing here. So the next candle that is going to open on an open high low close chart, if this was our final candle, the next candle that would open after this would open like this. Here's your open, here's the body, and for example, this could be your close. So low, high, open, close. Okay? So notice, the previous close is now the next open, the next close is now the next open, and so forth. And it goes up and down, up and down, and that's how you gauge what is happening in the markets. Okay? It's called the OHLC, Open High Low Close Chart. No one really uses that anymore either because if I draw this candle here, is that a bullish candle or a bearish candle? Is that a bullish candle or a bearish candle? Can you tell me? It opened here. It closed here. By quick glance, there's no color to this on the charts. Can you tell me what kind of candle that is? You can't. At quick glance, you can't. It's impossible. That's a bearish candle. It closed down here. Okay? So that's why people don't use it. What we use is simply called candlesticks. These guys are amazing. They're invented by the Japanese hundreds of years ago when they were trading rice, believe it or not. All right? Let me draw a candlestick for you. Okay. Voila. Those are your candlesticks. What you see on the charts. Blue or green. What does green mean? Good, right? It's a bullish candle. What is red? Bearish candle. Now, on a candlestick, this meat here, all this red part is the body. Again, the top of the body is the highest price ever reached. Sorry, where the, where, the can, uh, where the candle was opened. So on a red candle, on a bearish candle, the top is where new price opened. The bottom is where new price closed. It means it opened way up here, but it closed way down here. It was a red candle. It was a bad candle. It was a bearish candle. We lost on that candle. I'm not saying we lost money on it because you can make money going short, but this candle is bearish. It dropped instead of going up. So it opened up here. At any moment, if it had crossed up here, it would have been a, a green candle. But it dropped. It closed down here. It stayed red. This is the high the top of the wick, the top of the candle, is the highest the price ever reached. The bottom wick is the lowest price ever reached. Very simple. So the moment you see a red candle, you know it's a bearish candle. As opposed to the open, high, low, close charts, where you got to look and see, okay, where's the left leg? Because there's no color to it. It's just a line. The beautiful thing about these is, if I all of a sudden, now if I just come and do this, I just draw this. What is that? Bullish candle. Everyone knows that's bullish. It's green or blue, it's bullish. On some charts, white is bullish. 
Anything red is bearish. So now, the second you see this on a chart, you don't even need to analyze it. You close your eyes, you open, you see green. Oh, that's a bullish candle. That candle went up. So right away, you know that must that this candle must have opened up and started here and closed here. Why? Because it opened and it went up. That's a bullish candle. The wick is the highest point it ever reached. The lower wick, the lower wick is the lowest point it ever reached. So that's basically the anatomy of a candle. Okay? That's the anatomy of a candlestick. Now, let me show you guys on the chart the difference between a line chart, a open high low close chart, and a candlestick chart. One moment. So let's look, let's look at this bottom chart. Okay, I'm gonna turn it this way. All right, this bottom chart represents a four hour time frame of the Dow, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you can see, the stock markets actually crashed. They tanked very, very hard. They crashed on Friday. Okay, now, this is candlesticks. So now, by immediately looking at this section, you can identify every white candle was a bullish candle, every red candle was a bearish candle. So you see, already, you know what's bullish and what's bearish, what's positive, what's negative, right? Now, if I turn this into a line chart, okay? Let me see, okay? Look at that. That's a line chart. Now, does that look appealing anymore to you? How the hell are you going to trade on this chart? You can't, right? You see how difficult it is now to trade this chart? It's still going to be difficult if I go on a bar, on a bar chart. That's an open, high, low, close chart. See? Remember what I taught you guys? So... This candle, for example, that's the body, that's the lowest point it went, that's the highest point, that's where it opened, that's where it closed. Look at the line. Remember how I told you? Where is it? I can't find the abstract on my finger. Okay, look. See this? Look where it closed. See that line? It opened right next to it there. It closed there, it opened there, it closed there, it opened there. Follow those lines. You see how they're connected? That's your bar chart. Now, let's go back to candles and you're going to see how amazing it looks. Bam! Do you see the difference of how much nicer it looks? How much more precise it looks? That is your candlestick patterns. Welcome to Forex, guys. Welcome to Forex. These are candlestick. I'm going to turn us this way. All right. So when I tell you guys to open up charts or trade charts, you're, we're always going to be looking at candlesticks. We will never look at open, high, low, close charts. Okay, we will never look at line charts. The only time you may or may not want to look at line charts is if you are like on a mobile phone and you go on Bloomberg.com and you just want to gauge like you want to open up a, one, a monthly chart. So every candle is one month and just look at the broad spectrum of what the hell has this pair done in the last like five years. Excuse me. Okay, one second. All right, now, another major thing that you'll see in candlesticks is gaps. And I've taught the boys here and girls how to do gap trading. And admit it, guys, every single weekend, you guys make a busload of money doing gap trading, right? A busload of money, all right? Now, gap trading is when you've got a bullish candle, for example, 
Okay, now if you got a bullish candle here, all right, your next candle, where should it open up? Should your next candle open way up here or down here? It should open down here because this is where it closed right so conventionally what happens in the markets is when one candle closes you would get another candle okay that would open up here if, if it's a bullish candle if it's a bearish candle it'll go downwards but if it's a bullish candle it'll do this it'll open up here right where this one closed and move all the way upwards if it was a bearish candle, I mean, just to show you guys a difference, even if it was another bearish candle, it would still open up here and go downwards. Doesn't matter. You know, that's a bit another a bearish candle. As long as the bottom of this touches the top of this on a bearish, on a bullish, the bottom of this will touch the bottom of the candle, right? So this is conventionally how Candles open and close. Okay? If it closes, a bearish closes here, the next bullish opens, the next candle will open right next to it. Whether it'll go up or down is unknown. With gaps, a gap is when within a nanosecond, a fraction of a millisecond, the market moves at an extremely fast pace, faster than the chart can even plot the candle and you might get something like this this close here the green candle opened here okay major news came out non-farm payroll employment data came out it was extremely positive and instead of this opening down here it gapped it made this much of a gap see that it made this much of a gap and opened up here so that's gaps when the next candle opens up nanoseconds within nanoseconds at a much higher price point so if the last price closed at 103.30 Instead of the next candle opening up at 103.31, it opens up at 103.50, right? Now, the trick to gap trading I've taught all of you guys is every single gap will always close itself. Which means if this price has gapped up and left this much of a gap in the markets, because from now on, if the next candle is here and this one is here and this one is here and this one is here, all of these are still missing all of this amount. They've got to make it up eventually. That means it is always going to come back down and close the gap. So what does closing a gap mean, okay? Closing a gap, and this is where you can make guaranteed fucking money. Let's say price closed down here, okay? The next candle opened way up here. All right, even though it's a bullish candle, believe me, it'll close this gap. That means it is going to eventually, within the next few hours, this gap that it created, it created this much gap. It created this much gap. That means in the next couple hours, it is going to come down this much. Guaranteed! Even if the next candle is green, okay, it all of a sudden might open one red candle and from here go all the way down here and now when this has come all the way down here prices start trading back properly they start meeting up line to line which means there's no more gap in the market this gap has been closed so what do we do if we have a bearish candle and it gaps bullish? We sell it right away. Right away we short, we sell because we are sure that gap is going to close. 
I've taught my boys that and you guys that have been doing it have been making money hand over fist every single week. Hand over fist every single week. You guys have been making oodles of money on every Sunday, every Monday morning because you guys are trading this gap. All right. So that is called gap trading. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to stop for today because I've given you guys all the basics. The next thing from here to do is to go on computers and charts. And we we're going to do that tomorrow. So before I go, let me continue to discuss and let me recap everything. The Forex industry stands for foreign exchange, currency exchange. When you trade, you trade specific currency pairs like the euro, USD, which means you are buying the euro and selling the US dollar. Okay, you have different time frames. You have one minute, 15 minutes, one hour, four hour time frames, and so forth. All right. Now, the Forex markets are open 24 hours a day, five days a week. Let me give you guys some basics for those that want to open up accounts. You must be 18 years of age and higher to open up a trading account on your own. However, with that being said, with parental consent, you can open up an account being any age you want. Okay? In the United States of Canada, because of the NFA, the maximum leverage an American resident can have on their trading account is 50 to 1 leverage. All right. The maximum you can get is $50 for every $1 you put in. That is because the NFA specifies those rules. In Europe and everywhere else in the world, you can go to 1000 to 1 leverage. Now you're going to say that is not fair. I'm an American citizen. Very simple. Open up, a bro open up an account with an offshore brokerage. The chance that the offshore brokerage comes and tells you we do not accept American citizens is extremely highly. If you are very passionate, extremely passionate about trading and you want 200 to 1 leverage, pay 50 bucks and get yourself an, a virtual address somewhere in Europe. I'm being honest and open with you. Pay $50, get yourself a virtual address somewhere in Europe because the rule is your residential address has to be outside the USA. Your physical address can be anywhere it wants. So as if, you're, if your driver's license says United States, California, Connecticut, whatever, but you have a bill from Europe or Germany or Saudi Arabia or whatever or China, you now can open up an account with any other brokerage. Okay, so you do need to be 18 years of age. If you're not, you can get parental consent. All right. If you reside in the United States, you can only get 50 to 1 leverage. However, there's ways around it. And with that being said, okay, you can start with as low as $100. However, be informed that $100 is not going to make you a millionaire. Okay. My recommendation for young individuals that want to start off in the financial industry and want to start in Forex, I want you to start with a minimum of $1,000 because with $1,000, you can at least make a hundred bucks, 200 bucks here and there. Okay. It's still a very small amount of money, but you build up. Okay. I today trade with millions of dollars. All right. A healthy trader, a good trader trades with $100,000 and above. With $100,000, they're making ten to $20,000 per month, every single month, okay? The low scale, $6,000 to up to $20,000 a month. You get the point. You're making more returns than any bank would ever give you, any real estate venture would ever give you, anything on earth. No investment on earth can give you the returns Forex can. However, be informed that Forex also carries a high level of risk. You should have proper risk management, which is courses that I'm going to teach. One of them being cut your losses at 10%. As long as you can employ proper risk management skills and be dedicated and committed, you will inevitably make a lot of money. 
All right. So again, you can start with $100. I suggest you start with a thousand. For the rest of you guys, I suggest you actually open up a demo account. A demo Forex account is actually an account which a broker will give you, any broker will give you, you can download their platform. Okay, and you can put a hundred thousand, ten thousand dollars of fake money, money that if it loses, it's not your money. It's just demo virtual money. You can own your skills and your talents on the virtual money until you have the confidence to go full blown. Now, with that being said, in one week, I am launching the most powerful online mentorship program in the world, which will implore and employ all of the things I have taught you today times a hundred. I'll be teaching you guys every single strategy there is to trade, plus how to have action in the markets, destroy the markets, plus a lot of uh, secrets and tricks that I have created and learned along the way. I will have a 12 part course that is a graduating course. By the time you're done that course, you will be as good as me. Furthermore, I will have another aspect of my mentorship site that will also give you the ability to learn business, build your companies, you know, uh, do business development, business proposals, and whatnot. Okay, I am employing and building the world's number one mentorship and business entrepreneurial 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 site. I'm sorry. Okay, so with that being said, guys, um, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Um, I have given you guys a basic crash course into what Forex is and how I have made my millions. Um, I hope you enjoyed what I have shown you. Um, I'm actually going to turn the chat on. I hope I wasn't being sworn at this entire time. Um, I just turned the chat on. Um, I can see what you guys are writing now. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for, uh, for all the love and thank you so much for being here today. Um, I am going to be back, I believe, uh, not tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. I want you guys to have a break, but perhaps on a Maybe Monday evening would Monday would Monday evening work well for you guys if I came back and I continue these lessons Because there's another part to this there's one more part to this and then from there we kind of go right into um, My my mentorship if you guys want to if you guys want to be a part of that All right, so let's get back here Monday Monday. I'm going to be on here two hours earlier than I was today Okay, two hours earlier than I was today because I want to have all the Europeans in here as well. So Monday is going to be the meat and guts. I am actually going to share the screen with you guys and I'm going to trade with you guys and I'm going to show you guys how to set up your charts, what color schemes to use, which indicators to use, what time to wake up, what time to sleep, and basically give you a cheat sheet on how to accomplish and build the markets. With that being said, I think this is the most mature I have ever been on Periscope. I believe this is the most mature voice I have ever used on Periscope as well. I sound like a teacher from grade six. So Monday, I will be back, okay? Monday, I will be back to give you guys second part of this. We're going to dive into the markets. We're going to develop strategies. All right. And we're going to, from there, build an unstoppable team. Now, every single one of you knows what I do for a living. Every single one of you now knows when I say beer time, what it is and trading, what it is. All right. I just want you guys to know. Okay, I just want you guys to know and I'm saying this from the heart. Look at me. I'm a very normal guy, man. Bearded up. This is a hat one of our fans sent me. I'm not dressed in Versace or nothing. I really lived in the back of my car. I really used to ask my mom for one dollar just to go play the arcade. You're looking at a guy who's been beat up in life, molested, insulted, thrown around, beat down to every point there is. Okay. And I've gotten back up every single time and I have not given up, all right? I've gone out there and I've learned lessons. I have learned lessons that make me a very dangerous man in the financial industry, in the business industry, and it has turned me into competition to some of the most highest well-known mentors, developers in the world, all right? I have developed tremendous talents and extremely dangerous uh, uh, assets that make me a very powerful man when it comes to making money in the financial industry and overall. I have been beat up. I have been hurt. However, I am here to teach you guys this. I am here to give everything that I have learned to you guys 
so you guys don't have to get abused, molested, and beat up in life. As long as you guys stay with me, I'm going to hold your hand forever. And I'm going to teach you guys, no matter what it takes. All right? I'm here. I'm sweating my head off, man. I'm sweating. I don't care. It's Friday night, guys. I could be out there right now on my motorcycle going out for drinks. I'm here. This is dedication to you guys because I love you guys. I swear to God, I love you guys. You guys make me so happy. Just the sight of all of you, 700 people in here, 900 people. That makes me so damn happy. Okay? Actually, I don't want anyone to go anywhere. Can you guys all hold on one second? Please hold on one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something right now because I want to do something for everyone in here right now. Please don't go anywhere. Give me two minutes. Guys, because of your dedication today, can you guys do me a favor? Can every single one of you guys please share this feed? Can you all share this feed right now? I want to bring everyone that, that left back in here. Okay, please. I want to give you guys an email address right now. Okay, just hold on. I want you guys to please share the feed. Okay, every single one of you guys share this feed right now. All right? Let's bring everybody back in here. Okay? Um, I'm preparing a brand new email address right now that I'm going to give to you guys. And what I want you guys to do, every single one of you, I want every single one of you guys, okay, if you're genuinely interested, I want you guys to just send a small email to this email address I'm going to give you. It's going to be about today's course, okay? I'm going to give you something. I want to do something for you, okay? There's a lot of people in here. Every single one of you, if you're genuinely interested, send me an email. I'm going to send you something very special through the mail. Doesn't matter how much the mail costs me. It's going to be the Bible for you. It's, I'm going to be sending you a free, literally a free Bible of trading that you're going to trust me, hold on to forever. Okay, so just hold on while I get this email address. Okay, I want every single one of you that's interested. I'm going to send it to you 100% free of charge. Okay, all I want from you guys is to tell me that you're committed. You're going to have this Bible. All right. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is, <laughs> I kid you not, this is my original notes man this is where it all started this is where Reza Malteri this is where Ocean Sky started this is it there is a tremendous amount of ridiculous information here that are my notes these are I am oh guys I am I can undoubtedly tell you this without being cocky I believe I am top three in the world top three in the world when it comes to trading I put the challenge out to Tim Sykes and anybody else out there to trade next to me. Okay, you guys have seen my trades. They're ridiculous. This is my Bible. I am going, okay, I'm going to have this entire book, okay, redone, and I'm going to send it to you. Okay, furthermore, I'm going to assist you and setting up everything once this two-day course is over, okay? This is from me to you for your commitment. Ocean Sky student, thank you so much, okay? Just bear with me while I get this email address for you guys. While I'm doing this, I just wanna tell you guys, I swear to God, I am so grateful for you guys. I am so blessed, I am so, words cannot, explain how how amazing I feel to have you guys love me you guys loving me is the greatest love a man could ever have people that don't even know me you guys like you guys have done so much for me 
so much. Every single one of you, Ryan Ganius, Ryan Brothers, Kareem, Zagas, Shark Pips, Sports, Sorab, Super 90, Johanna Cabral, Wise Jim, all of you guys, man, you guys are so fucking amazing. You guys are so amazing and you don't even know it. And I don't know how old you guys are, but I genuinely feel like a father figure when I talk to you guys. I feel like you guys are my children. I'm telling you, like, and I always have to watch over you. Like, I understand you guys, you know, listen to other mentors and you guys listen to other guys out there. And you know what? I support that. I'm not jealous. I don't get, you know, hurt that you guys listen to other people. I support that. But even when you're watching them, believe me, I've got my eyes on you guys I'm always making sure that you guys are getting good content I'm always making sure that you guys are being respected I'm always making sure that you know you guys are getting the proper proper seeds you need to develop okay so I always have your back you need to know that I'm telling you till the last day I give you guys my promise till my last breath I will be here to support you guys if you can't afford the mentorship program I will still be there for you if you can't get into it and you don't make the top 100 I will still be there for you if you need me for anything I will always be there for you okay let me just get that email Paul do you have that email buddy do you have the email address And I'm so sorry to the people in Europe that um, that it, this is taking so long, okay? To be quite honest, guys, while well, he's getting it, let me tell you guys, I started with 7,000 bucks, okay? I had 10 grand to my name. I used 3,000 of it for first and last to get a condo because I just wanted to feel good about myself, you know? Um, I just wanted to feel better about myself. And I had 7,000 bucks left. I turned my 7,000 into like 12,000 bucks. I turned my 7,000 into 17,000 the first week. And then I lost like 8,000 of it. It was just like such a roller coaster ride, you know? But that little chunk of change, that passion I had, and if you guys have that passion that I had, man, five years from now, you guys are going to be like me sitting in your villa with your beautiful wife, you know what I mean? You're going to have your Lamborghini, you're gonna have everything there is. Believe me, guys, I was just like you. I was just a kid with a dream, okay? I was just a kid with a dream, that's all I was. All I wanted was to be happy, all I wanted was to not be picked on, I didn't wanna be abused, I just wanted someone to love me, I wanted a home, I wanted a life. That's all I ever dreamt of, nothing more. I was beat up by kids when I was younger, my favorite hockey stick that my mom had bought me the first day on the school bus some kid broke, I had my face punched in, you know, when I was eight years old I was molested molested by, by, by a 30 year old man, everyone pooped on me. You guys have no idea how hard my upbringing was. And for me to have learned all this and come out here and, and have made millions and millions of dollars, you guys have no idea how much I want to give back to you guys. I do all of this because I want to bring you guys where I am now. And believe me, I want you guys to be better than me. And the problem is I don't see a lot of mentors doing that. I see them giving motivational speeches, but I really don't see how they're bringing you guys up. And that's why, you know, I watch over you guys, but, you know, it's not always about building a hype. You gotta help your young, you gotta help these kids. It's not always about hyping people up. Anybody can hype somebody up with motivational speeches, but you gotta give back, you gotta help them. Okay, well, you hype them up and hype them up, but then what? Some of these guys on Instagram, I see they're hyping everybody up. Yeah, woo ha hoo ha hoo ha hoo ha with William Wallace speeches. But at the end, there's nothing being given. So I'm all hyped up. I'm full of energy. But what do I do? Do I take this energy back to class or do I do what? Where I try to come out here and teach you guys strategy. So I pump you up. But I say, now you're all pumped up, full of energy. Use this to make the money. So here's the goal, guys. We're going to get rich. We're going to make a lot of money learning the markets. And then we're going to take that money and we're going to start investing it into real estate like I'm doing today into different businesses. So now look, I'm opening up supplement lines. 
I'm opening up clothing lines, real estate properties, everything. It's all with Forex money, but now I'm a venture capitalist. I'm an angel investor. I'm a seed funder. I'm an entrepreneur with all the money I made during Forex. Just hold on a second. Let me see if this guy made it. Man, what are you doing? Okay, guys, let me give you the, let me give you guys the email address, okay? Everybody write this down, okay? Everybody write this. I just made this email address. It's going to be for today's and next uh, Monday's class, okay? It is very simple. Forex, F-O-R-E-X, Ocean, Sky at gmail.com. Okay? So let me write it again. So forex ocean sky at gmail.com. Can I get every single one of you to write that? Please, everyone write it out. Forex. Okay, so everybody start writing it out. So everyone can see, okay? Forex. Ocean Sky at gmail dot com. Let me bring the phone and show it to you guys. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Forex Forex Ocean Sky at gmail dot com. All right. I want you to use that email. Okay. Contact me. Just send me, hi, how are you? Whatever you want to send me. You want to send me love. I love your love. I love you back. You know what I mean? I am personally going to be opening up every email. I promise you. Okay. Every email will be opened up personally by me. All right. And I am going to get you not only this content, I am going to send you stuff that I should be selling. I am going to be sending you stuff that I should be selling. I would have you send you a couple ebooks. This, I'm going to prime you guys like you don't believe. So when you get into my mentorship program, okay, you just kill it. Now, the mentorship program is going to be a 12-level graduating course. At the end of the course, you're going to get a certificate, okay? It's a 12-level graduating course on the Forex aspect of it. There's two parts to the mentorship site. The Forex, Forex aspect is a 12-part graduating course. By the time you're done the course, you will get a certificate, and you might be better than me at trading. I'm not going to lie. Once you're completed, you're going to get access to me every day on my screen, not Periscope, you're going to get a login that when you log in, you will log into my computer panel and you will trade with me. Not just with me, the entire squad is gonna see my screen, they're gonna log into my screen, you can see everything but you just can't click any mouses so you can't hack me, all right? And we're going to trade one to two hours every day together. Imagine the money we're going to make. Plus, you're going to get daily trading signals. You're going to get an application that you can install on your mobile phone, Android or iPhone that will give you the ability to get all the market news, fundamental news, the strength of the currency at that specific moment so you'll know which currency is hot, which currency is not. Okay? On <laughs> Agent Steve says, I learned something tonight. Coming from a man of your power, I'm honored. Agent Steven, a multi, 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 multi millionaire, I was going to say gazillionaire, multi millionaire who just bought a dirty, dirty 918, just said that to me. I am honored. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. I really appreciate that, brother. Okay. The mentorship site of my uh, mentor site, okay, is going to have. Guys, can you guys share this feed one more time? Um, uh, 
Stephen, if you could just share this feed one more time, brother, if Andy, if the rest of you guys are on here, if you can just give me one more share, I'd really appreciate it, okay? The mentorship site of my uh, website is going to have a 12-part course for how to build your mind and set it to become an entrepreneur and a businessman. So it's going to be a graduating class as well. And by the time, um, by the time you have finished that course, you're also going to get a certificate and you're going to be able to do anything you want in business. Everything from how to first pick your company name. For example, I just launched my supplement company. It's called Alpha Core Nutrition. My fat burner is called God bod. My focus formula is called limitless. So you're going to learn how to first, you know, guys, keep the hearts coming too, please. Keep the hearts coming, okay? You're going to learn how to pick the company name all the way to how to structure a 100-man sales team. And that's going to be a graduating class. Plus, you're going to have templates for business proposals, um, business blueprint. So let's say you want to go and propose an investor to fund. And instead of you writing a 50 page business proposal, you're going to be able to log into the business proposal section of the website, put in all of your particulars. It's going to ask you all the necessary questions. Okay. And it's going to create the business plan for you. A lawyer would charge you around $3,000 for that. That's going to be included in the mentorship site. Plus, you're going to have about 20 different business templates from investment contract templates, agreements, sales agreements, lease agreements, law, uh, you know, every single type of agreement that you would go and pay a, a top-notch lawyer for. Sorry, Steve, I love you, but you're too rich anyways. It, it wouldn't, wouldn't matter. But, um... Everything you would pay a lawyer for, it's going to be, the templates are going to be there where you could put everything you want in and it'll spit out and create the, yeah, Steve, you're, you're ridiculously rich, dude. You're driving a $2 million car for fun. I don't think it's going to affect you. Um, it's, uh, it's going to split out the agreement for you right away. Okay. So not only that, you're going to get twice a month. A 30 minute phone call with me, live phone call where you can ask any question. If there's any kind of business you want to do, you can ask me. If there's anything you want, you can ask me. If you want to go and make a business deal, you can ask me how to do it. If you want to go out there and buy a piece of property and you want me to do the comps on it and assess the property, I will assess that entire property for you. I will give you back a game plan and I'll say buy it or don't buy it. If you want to go out there and do any kind of business, you can send the information to me with an NDA. And I will assess the business for you. So the mentorship program I'm making is not a cookie cutter classroom. It is direct access to me, me being on your side as your partner. I will be your business partner without taking an invested interest in your business. My only interest is going to be in your success. Your success equals my success. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, okay? I have been through hell and back. And every single time I came there, went there, I made the devil my bitch. You know why? Because I've got drive and persistence and ambition. And I'm here to give that to you. I'm here to make every single one of your dreams come true. Damn! Everyone! Not one or two. 720 people strong in here. I'm going to make your dreams come true. I promise you. Okay, I'm going to give you guys applications, daily emails, daily chores to do. I am going to be on your fucking ass like a fly on a piece of shit. I'm going to be all over your faces. I'm going to make you guys work, man. Once a month, I'm going to have a get together for the team at a seminar, at a summit. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to get guys. I'm telling you, I'm going to be going after the top guys out there, bring them out to help you guys. I'm actually going to be getting uh, a couple. I can't mention their names, but a couple of guys from the Dragon's Den. I'm going to have once or twice a month available to you guys. Now, imagine how much people pay to be able to pitch those guys. I'm going to have a couple of them available to you guys once or twice a month. So you can ask them questions directly. Okay? Yes, I'm serious. I am building a revolution 
This is a revolution of the minds, like-minded individuals that want to become a millionaire. I'm starting at the bottom rung with you. Forget about all the money I've made that's out the window. I'm starting at the bottom rung with you guys today. We're starting together. One team, one mission, one dream. And you know what that is? Success, happiness, and love. Every single one of you deserves it. Every single one of you deserves nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. You know why? Because you've earned it. You've earned your right to live. You've earned your right to succeed. And you've earned your right to be able to look at your life 60, 70 years from now. When you're laying on your bed. When you're taking your last breath. Ask yourself. What would you do would, if you could go back? Would you change anything? If you had one last chance, would you change anything? Or have you lived your life? Have you lived your life the way you wanted to live it? Because remember what I said earlier. We're not ever going to fake it till we make it. We're going to make it till we break it. I just realized... I gave a William Wallace speech from Braveheart almost, and I had to stop myself. So remember, guys, proof is in the pudding. I'm your boy. I'm your man. I've been there. I've done that. I've been kicked through the mud. I've been beat up. I've lost it all. I've made it all. And by God, I'm going to make it all again, over and over again, and I'm going to take you guys with me. Why? Because I love you. I value you. You value me. Guys, we have a family here. There's almost 700, there's been over thousands of people that have watched this thread tonight. And thousands more that are going to watch it. Thousands more that are going to watch this thread, man. You know how late it is? In Europe, it's 6 a.m. Friday night, I'm fucking out here pumped up for you guys. I'm fucking pumped up. You know why? Because I'm excited. I'm excited to start this week and kill it. We're going to kill it together. Passion, passion, passion. Believe in yourself. All you got to do is believe. If you believe in you, I'll believe in you. And I promise you, I'm never, ever, ever going to let go of your hands. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being on here tonight. Thank you so, so, so much. Please email me at forexoceansky at gmail.com so I can send you some information about tonight's event. I will continue to do this event on Monday night, okay? And we'll start trading together. Remember guys, one team, one dream, one mission. Team Ocean Sky. We are the original entrepreneurial team on social media, remember that. We were the first team on Snapchat, the first team on Periscope. And soon we're gonna be number three in the world on Periscope. That says a lot, man. Ocean Sky is going to be number three on earth on a platform full of celebrities and mentors and guys that have books and everything out. You know who made us? You. You made it. All right? Fuck the wolves of Wall Street. We are the wolf of all streets. All right, brother? I love you guys. You go, you get your sleep, you get your rest, all right? You get your rest, you come back, you come back on Monday, we're gonna finish this up, we're gonna fucking get pumped up, we're gonna start making money, we're gonna make every fucking dream of ours a reality, man. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. ForexOceansky at gmail.com. God bless you. God bless your families. I lost my voice. I don't give a fuck. That's passion. That's fucking passion. When you can lose your voice, that's fucking passion. I fucking love you guys. All right? God bless you. God bless America. God bless everybody else inside of it. God bless all the opportunities we've ever gotten. God bless every soldier who's ever fought for our reasons, our lives. God bless your mothers, your fathers, everyone, that because of them, we are here today. We're going to make it, man. We're going to make it. I love you guys. One love.